In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how you can record your own sound files and get them onto the NXT brick to use them using NXTG. So the first thing you need to do is record your sound file and save it as a .wav file. I'm going to be using Audacity for that and I'll put the website address for this in the notes. And secondly, you will need a little utility called Wave2RSO which you can find off this website. Let's have a look at Audacity now. Uh, this is a sound file that I recorded earlier and let's have a listen to it. Brilliant. Now you need your sound file to be, or your recording, to be nice and loud and we can actually see just looking at this that the sound doesn't really get going to here so I'm going to select this section and delete that part and I'm also going to get rid of this tail by hitting delete and now if we go back to the beginning and play that uh, that sounds pretty good. So we can now go File and Export and I'm going to save that in this folder NXT Sounds that I've already created on the desktop and it's saving it as a wave which is good and I'm going to save it as brilliant uh, with one little catch. I'm going to put a, a Z in the front and you'll see why in a moment. Uh, I'm not going to worry about any of that. Now let's have a look at Wave 2 RSO. You'll see here that I've already got the directory set up to be NXT Sounds. Uh, you can go and choose the directory where you've saved your sounds and that'll make it easier to find the converted file and select that file that we want to convert and open that. And if we convert it now it'll actually be too big for the NXT brick so let's choose Sync 96%. And one problem I have with this uh, user interface is it's very tempting to click OK but that will actually just drop you right out of Wave 2 RSO without converting anything. What we want to do is convert and now we get that message saying it was successful. So now let's have a look at what we do with this file. So here I've got my NXT sounds folder and you can see I've got the original .wave wave file and the .rso file and I've also got a window opened up with computer local disk program files, Lego software, Lego Mindstorms, engine and then sounds and you can see all the other .rso files in here already so I need to copy across my brilliant sound and you might start to get a feel for why I put the Z in front and then let's go over to NXTG and now in NXTG I'm going to just put a smiley face on there so we can see when the program runs and I'm going to grab this play sound block and I want to find my file and you'll see the reason I put the Z in the front is so that it was really easy to find it puts it right down the bottom of the list and we can hear that now and I can bump up that volume and now we can download this and hopefully you will hear it working And that's how to get your sounds onto the NXT brick and to use them using NXTG.